What's good with it in the hood with it? You already know what it is. And we're gonna get it in, right? We're gonna make the heat go boom, just like the beat go boom. You already know, right? No added preservatives, all realness here. Let's get straight to the facts. Now, you can see that thumbnail right there. And I told you guys we're gonna make it a very serious topic, a very serious channel right here. No more time for playing in games. We got Gunners Collected to do that, to have fun for comedy. E he ho ho, a hip hop hooray ho ho, right? We're gonna do all that over there, but over here, we're going to speak about serious top topics, trending topics, things that we need to speak about that are going on in this world because it's up to me having this platform to make my people aware. And that's all of you, whether it's the Woods, the Brothers, or the Raza from another mother, right? Either way, man, I'm here to give it to you guys as real as I can based on what I know. Now, trip out in a menudo style in direct fashion. Let's get straight to it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you prepared, right? Are you prepared for what's going on around you? Now, a lot of people, a lot of gang members, a lot of gangsters, a lot of real ones that are out there wiggling in the streets, don't pay attention to what's seen on TV. They don't pay attention to the media, the news, or what's going on around them. And this right here can be very deceptive. This could be a way to deceive the masses because if you're not paying attention, then you can't get ready. Well, it's, it's, I'll stay ready so I don't have to get ready. Yeah, but are you ready for a, a, a grenade on your head? I don't think you're ready for that, right? I think you might be ready... Uh, if a vato hits you up, if you're active, if you're not active, yeah, you might be ready for that. Thank you. We're all ready for that, right? But are you ready for realness? Are you ready for what's going on in the world? Are you ready for the demise or the decline in our economy? Are you ready to go to the store and eggs cost $10? Are you ready to go get some formula for your kid and they don't make it no more? I don't know what you're ready for, but I know I don't have to get ready or stay ready or none of that. I'm just ready, yes, with a capital R. Now, trip out, um... What's going on around us is a whole lot. So much to speak on, whether it be the decline of the U.S. dollar. To, hey, look, here's a secret. Shh, you ready? You ready to hold? We live in the United States, right? So it's going to affect us drastically. You know, costs of everything is going to go up. If our money don't mean shit, then we can't buy shit. If we can't buy shit, then we don't have shit, right? And if we don't have anything, then spend some Latina, homes. This might have been our last Easter. I don't know if you're going to be able to afford eggs to hide next year. Everyone go to Walmart. They got the plastic ones. Fill them with a dollar. Oh, guess what? It ain't worth shit. Your kid's going to throw it back at you. It's getting bad. Okay? The decline of the U.S. dollar is real. Other countries are forming and coming together for our demise. Now, it says in the Bible, and I hate to quote the Bible because I know there's a lot of people that don't believe in it. And for those of you that don't, spend on la tira. I do. Right? And this is my channel, so it's my channel. And I'll party if I want to. Orale. Hundreds and fifties are big old titty. You already know where I'm going. Let's party. Um... Hundreds of fitties. Now trip. Well, I'm way up. They don't work. They're not worth shit. Big old titties. Now, the world that we live in right now, everybody is against us. Nobody likes us. And the reason no one likes us is for forever we've been the leader of the free world. We've been in a leadership role. And what happens? What goes up must come down. Okay. Now, getting back to the Bible, it states that every kingdom must fall before the end times, which I believe we are on the brink of the end times. We are on the brink of World War III. We are on the brink of famine, disease. We've already had that. We are on the brink of a very big decline in the world as we know it today. The Mayans said it best in 2012, right? And all, they said the world will change as we know it. About that time is when it started to change, but people didn't peep the scene because they were too busy worried about hitting people up if they're active or non-active or gang members or this or that or whatever they're doing, getting a mamon from a big old torta. I can't lie, I also was indulging, but at the same time, I definitely was aware of what was going on in my surroundings. I've always been that type of person, so trip. Um, it says that every great kingdom will fall. Okay, the kingdom of socialism, the kingdom of communism, the kingdom of fascism, all these different different uh, democracies, I guess is what you would call them, have fallen. Okay, but we have the last kingdom of democracy right here in the United States. And slowly but surely is being torn down right before us. Now it also says when the great river Euphrates dries up, that will make a way for the kings of the east to come for war. Well, guess what? Pensa la tira con permiso. Hey, can I talk? Guard! Can I talk, puto? It just dried up. Okay, the kings of the East being Russia, China, and all these different groups. 
Bricks. I don't know if you guys heard about bricks. The last time I heard about a brick is when I was getting hit in the head with one in the sock in Nellis, right? But BRICS is a group that has formed now of different countries that have come together that have for no other reason to tear down the US dollar, to make it obsolete, to make it nothing so that they can make this one world order money, right? Um, that we're going to have to be relying on, dependent on. Okay, what happens if our great country is dependent upon other countries and other countries' money? Well, guess what? That makes us having nothing. That don't, We're not the top dog anymore. Say. We're not the baddest bato on the yard. You know what we are? We're left on the yard in the corner like, oh, hell no. I hope I don't get removed this yard. Right? That's what it is. They're trying to remove the United States. While we're too busy, Rasa, inner fighting, bickering, fighting over YouTube and fighting over gangs and fighting over uh, hoes and fighting over whatever we're fighting over, the bigger picture is they're trying to take us all, yes, you, me, all of us off the map. The decline of the dollar is a very big issue. And how do they divert your attention? By putting other things in the news, like Trump getting knocked up and this and that. So that way your focus is not on what's really going on. And that's the demise and the decline of the United States of America, the great country we live in. Now, say okay, I'm of Mexican heritage. I got brown blood. Well, you can't tell me, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Right? You already know what it is. So first and foremost, I'm always going to rock behind my people or on the side of my people or in front of my people or with my people. I'm always going to have love. But at the same time, I'm not a Bawoso and I'm not dumb enough to understand that being an American, we all need to come together regardless of ethnicity, color, race, all that. We're all the same. You know, we're here. We got to stand proud in our country. But are you prepared? You see the thumbnail. Are you truly prepared if something went down? Now, a lot of us Vatos, we have children. So I pay my child support. Hey, I'm good. I'm going to go to the casino. Fuck off 200 right now because I pay my child support. I don't know about you. I'm a good dad, right? Are you really truly a good dad? A good father is someone that's going to protect his children and make his children aware. Go to their little sports things. Go to their PTA meetings. Just come again. I don't got to go to PTA. Spell that. Where are you from? PTA? Nah, go to the PTA meetings. What's happening? Be involved in their lives. At this point in time in our, in our life, in our society, you need to be involved. Because if you're not involved, hey, Tyrone will. You can call on Tyrone. He'll definitely go get involved. We'll get involved with the mama too late night. But real talk, it's time to start training our kids in the tactics of self-preservation and looking at what's going on around them with all these school shootings, with all these mass murderings, with everything that's going on in this world, man. We need to make our kids aware. Have an exit plan. Have an exit strategy. No, no, not like that. Not in a bad way. Have a strategy. Hey, look, you know, here's a phone. Call me. Your number should be on speed dial. Should be number one. Dad, bam, I'm coming. Da -da -da -da! Like going on Binchy Batman and Robin. You need to be there for your children. That's first and foremost. But you as a person, as a man, as a woman, are you fully and truly prepared for what's going on? If you're not aware, that's why you come to YouTube, not only to laugh and have fun and listen to oldies and kick back and look at lowriders going hoppers. No, but you're also here to gain knowledge you can't get in college. You're here to be susceptible to the knowledge that we can drop. Now, me, myself, I'm going to give you everything I can, Rasa, because I truly love and care for you. So I'm going to give you everything that I got. Since I don't know everything. I'm not the smartest Fish in the sea. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like a shark. They say, but I'm not from Saho. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the friend of the Federals. Right now they're like, a shark, Saho. God, I thought you were one of us. Just saying, I got love. But at the same time, I'm going to do me. Bang, bang. Now, I definitely want to give you guys the knowledge and the education because I believe um, it's up to us as having platforms on YouTube to do that. What other brown man are you going to listen to? Now, everyone might not like me. They might not like the words coming out of my mouth. They might think I'm full of shit. And to each their own. Obviously, you don't know a real one when you see it, right? But it's all good in the hood. I don't have to be an active gang member. I don't have to be the cool guy. I say I am cool. I don't have to be doing all this in order for you to sit down and listen. I might give you something that you didn't know about. And with that, you'll thank me later on when you're in the shelter hiding. I said, God, it was wrong. I thought you were all that. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't know about that. But Okay, listen. It's the way I speak it. Um, There's a lot going on. We're on the brink of World War III. If you guys haven't seen it, then you don't know. Um, China and all these other countries are coming together um, to tear us down. And the reason being is forever, as long as I can remember, we've always been the superpower. We've always been the leader of the free world. We've always been uh, 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 the one country that was above all else. Now, we didn't place ourselves there. We fought hard and worked hard for it to establish a great name, to establish a reputation, to establish being the big brother of the free world. But at the same time, there's a lot of haters. Orele, believe me, I know. There's a lot of haters, a lot of hate. And when people are hating from the outside looking in, they want what you have. 
They want to be free. Their people strive for that. A lot of these other countries don't have ex have it exactly like we do. They don't have the rights to vote. They don't have the rights to get up and go wherever they want. They can't beat you. Go to Carl Jr. to get a double whisker, bacon cheeseburger whenever they want. They can't get a mamon from a bad torta like I did last night. There's a lot of things that they cannot do. But what they need to understand and do is stay prepared for guerra. But that way they can go take what they want. And they do. See, other countries are training. Other countries in school get their kids prepared and ready. Whereas we sit back on TikTok, on a pinchy TikTok and Instagram. Damn, she got some big old TikTok. Mm-hmm. Let me touch those one time. And then we just keep on scrolling. And then when you see her, she looks like Freddie Jackson going on filter, right? I'm telling you right now, our minds are in places they shouldn't be in the gutter or doing other things. I don't need a TikTok. I'm talking like this. I don't need IG. I'm a GI. You know what I mean? I don't need Instagram, my homes. I got me a grandma. You know what I mean? Instantly. And I don't need uh, Facebook. You say, look at my face. Homes. I don't even have to read a book. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different things. YouTube. YouTube while well, I tube it. I tube while well, YouTube. I got a tube. Do you do? You know what I mean? And that's just, we're too busy and focused on clowning and making fun of and thinking nothing will ever happen. See, there's a lot of pessimistic people and a lot of optimistic people. Optimistic people mean they see the, gla they see the glass half full. They're happy with what little they got, man. Hey, say, I'm happy, ain't you? know, God will provide. And the pessimistic people say, I need more. I say, I need more. I'm going to have to roll pessimistic this time because I also need more. Not more money. Not more familia. Not more friends. Definitely don't need any more of those. What I need, because they, they all flake out on you, except for the real ones, right? What I really need, honestly, is education. More knowledge. The thirst is real. Okay, I'm not thirsty on a B. I can get one like Tia, the rubber band man. I can do all that. What I definitely need, gente, is more knowledge. I need to know what's going on. What's going on is there's a group that's now formed against us. We are on the brink of World War III, okay? I'm not here to bash any governments or democracy. I'm not here to, to uplift them and say they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. But gas is crazy. Diapers, crazy. Thank God I had a vasectomy. But things are different in life, right, where we can't control. The only thing we can control is our household, our familia. And the voice. You can control your voice, man. You can put it out there. You can spit game. You could, instead of kicking back, oh, it's Easter, it's Easter, it's Cadbury Bunny came. Look at Amy Ho, you got, what do you got, $5? Let me change it for a one. You know what I mean? You could do all that. Instead of focusing and letting your familia know when you're gathered at a great time like this, what's really going on. Now, I hate to scare my family. I hate to scare the people. I hate to shock the people. But I'm letting you know that might have been our last one. It's a very ugly situation. When you are the man, which I was in several points in my life where I was the one in a leadership role for my homeboys. I thought I was big and bad. I thought I had it all, right? Bad chick. Uh, can I take that one time? Uh -huh. Right? I thought I had everything when really I had nothing because I was lacking education and knowledge of what was really going on in the real world. See, there's a real world and there's a real barrio, right? And when you're in the barrio, that's it. That's your world. Just like when you're in the pinta, whatever, within them walls, homes, whatever's going on there, that's your community, that's your clecha, that's your people, that's your world, whatever. Whether you're a maestro, a leadership, you're in a leadership role, you're younger, whatever it is, that's what it encompasses right there. Whatever's going on, so you can't worry about up there. The like Cadbury money, fuck that puta, I'm over here, right? That's it. There's a lot more going on out there. Are you truly prepared? You see the thumbnail. The Vato's all gassed up. He's ready for whatever he's going to breathe. We don't know war. Okay? A lot of us have been around to understand that, yes, we sent troops over here to Afghanistan. Or, yes, we sent troops to Desert Storm and all that. You remember that. But we've never had it on our soil to toil rather than barrio warfare. Now, those of you veteranos that have been in barrio warfare, like myself in the 90s, it was war. It's it. North and south between our own people. I was involved. Whether I got scars, scrapes, scratches, whatever I had, it all was because I was defending my people against my own people. Well, the time has come now where we have to defend all people against them people. It's an ugly world. It's an ugly game. Because at the end of the day, these people over there, a lot of them that aren't really involved, they just want to do their own thing. They got family as well. There's nothing worse than having to look into another man's eyes and take him away from his family. Whether it's incarceration, whether it's death, whatever the case may be, you only think about what fulfills your needs and what you what makes you happy at that point in time rather than what's better for the greater good of his children, of his world. Now, I watched uh, YouTube the other day and there was a, a general or someone and he was giving this big old speech and he says, if you don't think America's prepared, we're prepared. Do we want war? Hell no. We've seen it though. He said, but I promise you this. If you rush up on us, 
If you pull upon us, and this he said in a different word, but then I'm doing it in game mentality. You already know what it is. If you pull upon us, someone else will be raising your kids, your, your sons and daughters. I'm letting you know right now. Basically, he's telling them, we're going to put you in the Disney, right? That's facts. Now, who says that's not, we're not going to lose a lot of people in the process? See, it makes you feel all happy. Oh, yeah, see, we ain't no punks. We know that already. Forget what you think and the mentality you have and start thinking about protection and self-preservation for your familia. Start going to these stores and buying these big old sacks of rice and buying these big sacks of beans and preparing your water and your toilet paper. You don't have to do it all at once. Rush, hey, Gunner said, I'm scared word in the hand. My daddy, let my girl. Gunner said, nah. Go slowly but surely and start to accumulate these things, flashlights, batteries, things that you're going to need for your familia. Okay, you're going to thank me when the time comes. You're going to thank yourself even more. I don't need the pat on my back. That's it. I've got mine. You know what I mean? Instead of all the, the rap songs, you got a gleezy because I got mine. Go even at Costco, puto. I'm not talking about guns and all that. I mean, thinking that what we get to have, but I can't even say that here. Do what you got to do. Prepare. The preparation is real. Those things I never hurt nobody. But at the same time, stop thinking about going out and kicking it and partying and drinking. And, oh, we, we had a carne asada yesterday. Yeah, well, there will be no carne asada soon. That's going to be a Russian after eating a big old pork chop. While you're over there fucking you know, the chain game. Oh, damn, I'm a fucking like drippy toilet bar. God damn, I remember about two years ago at the Easter we had carne asada. That was the past, it said. This is the present. Times are changing. Are you prepared? I'm telling you, the way to prepare is to watch the news, to watch what's going on. Don't believe everything you hear, Seth. Do your research. Educate yourself. There's a lot of outlets, whether it be YouTube, social media, the news, whatever affiliation you rock with, whether it be the, to the left, to the left, or to the right, to the right. Not, I'm in the man, and ain't going to big people. I don't care. I'm winning. One thing I'll say for sure is I stay very aware of what's going on. And right now, at this point in time in our life, we've never seen nothing like this. Do you understand that you can have all the money in the bank? It might not be worth shit in a couple weeks. Do you understand that? Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth, going to the straight teeth? All you bought was I said I had plaque and I brushed them. I'm good. Right? You need to understand that right now is a time for certain measures to be taken. Preparation is key. Prepare your family. Prepare your friends. Prepare those around you that are susceptible to education. If you can speak on it, spit it. You know, if they think you're crazy, well, everyone thought Noah was crazy too, huh? But him, two lions, and an ostrich, they survived. They say everyone else goes, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. No, fuck with me. No, I can't. The Lord said, you know what I mean? Okay, what up? Do you understand what chupacabra help? Right? Okay, I already got two chupacabras. So you're on your own. That's, it. That's just the way it was. Anyways, I speak the real. I do it my own way. I'm only trying to prepare the raza for what's coming. Look around you. Don't you see it? We're on a decline. We're not going up. That's it. We're going down. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose and get every single thing that you want coming to you. And if you decide for no other reason, hey, Gunner's full of shit. I don't care, man. I'm already ready. I don't have to get ready. I stay ready. Okay. Well, you're cool with your little nine miller, but guess what? <laughs> I'm wearing bear, not chinchilla. You know what it is, man. Either thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I honestly, truly believe in. And that's giving that best education I possibly can to my people so they, su they can succeed in life. But not even succeed in life anymore. It's at a certain point now. So you can survive. I said, so you can survive. This is the gun. Bang, bang. In that fashion.